Now that you are familiar with the concept of redox titrations, let's quickly solve a problem. So the question that we have here is, a solution of oxalic acid is titrated against a solution of KMnO4 in the presence of sulfuric acid. If it takes 25 ml of 0.02 molar KMnO4 solution to titrate 50 ml of oxalic acid solution, what is the number of moles of oxalic acid? Okay, so this is a classic example of a redox titration. And as we know, potassium permanganate in acidic solution acts as a very strong oxidizing agent. And it not only acts as an oxidizing agent, but also as a self indicator in titrations because in acidic medium, the MnO4- ions are purple in color. And when it undergoes reduction, because KMnO4 is an oxidizing agent, that means it undergoes reduction. The MnO4- in its plus 7 oxidation state gets converted to Mn2 plus ions which are colorless. So this change in coloration from purple color to colorless solution is what helps KMnO4 solution act as a self indicator. And in this specific reaction where it reacts with oxalic acid, KMnO4 oxidizes the oxalic acid to carbon dioxide and it itself gets reduced to MnSO4, manganese sulfate. So let's look at the balanced redox reaction here. So as you can see here, 2 KMnO4 plus 3 H2SO4 plus 5 COOH twice. That is, this is the formula for oxalic acid. And when KMnO4 reacts with oxalic acid, it oxidizes the oxalic acid to carbon dioxide while itself gets reduced to MnSO4. So manganese here is in plus 7 oxidation state and here it becomes plus 2 and this is why the color changes from purple to colorless solution and oxidation state of carbon in oxalic acid is plus 3 and it undergoes oxidation to plus 4 state in carbon dioxide all right so this is what the balanced redox reaction looks like and now coming to solving this question the first step is to figure out the number of moles of KMnO4 solution used in the titration, right? So the number of moles of KMnO4 solution is nothing but molarity times volume. So here you have 0 0.02 molar KMnO4 solution and 25 ml of the solution is used. So on solving this we get 0 0.005 moles of KMnO4 solution. Now the next step is to look at the stoichiometric ratio in which the reaction takes place. As you can see here, 5 moles of oxalic acid reacts with 2 moles of potassium permanganate solution. So the ratio is 2 is to 5. So if 5 moles of oxalic acid reacts with 2 moles of potassium permanganate, how many moles of oxalic acid would react with 0 0.05 moles of KMnO4 solution that was titrated here? This is a simple calculation and you get the final answer as 0 0.00125 moles of oxalic acid. Alright, so let's take this question one step further, okay? What would happen if we carried out the same reaction in hydrochloric acid instead of sulfuric acid? Do you think by simply changing the acid here, we would have any substantial effect on our uh, titration? Pause the video and think about it for a moment, alright? So the short easy answer is that we will not get accurate results with HCl. Now this is because Potassium permanganate is a really good oxidizing agent and it oxidizes the chloride ions to chlorine and itself gets reduced to Mn2 plus ions. Now interestingly this chlorine that is formed is also a decently strong oxidizing agent and it can react with some of the oxalic acid in the solution just like KMnO4 solution and convert it or oxidize it to carbon dioxide. So basically both chlorine and KMnO4 solution are oxidizing the oxalic acid to carbon dioxide. But what are we doing in our titration? In our titration, we are simply trying to estimate the amount of oxalic acid by titrating it only against KMnO4. That is, we are not able to take into account the interference from chlorine or how much of the oxalic acid is chlorine oxidizing, right? So this is why the actual amount of oxalic acid in the solution cannot be accurately figured out. And this is not specific to HCl alone. We also cannot use nitric acid 
because nitric acid is again a strong oxidizing agent and would compete with KMnO4 solution to react with oxalic acid. Hence it is absolutely important that we use sulfuric acid and not nitric acid or HCl in the redox titrations because sulfuric acid is stable towards oxidation and at the same time it is sufficiently acidic to provide lots of H plus ions to the reaction. Therefore, to get accurate results in titrations, we prefer using it along with potassium permanganate instead of other acids like HCl or nitric acid.